All right, guys, 50 takes later. Hope you had a good Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> Maybe by the time you see this, it'll be New Year. So happy New Year too. For the new year, new hair color, new glasses. Yeah, don't worry, these are safe, they're, they're fake. They're blue light filters. And we've got a couple of updates too. So, ooh, this is exciting. Yeah, so I got this. If you guys know this shirt, love this shirt. Uh, too harsh. If you haven't seen his channel, please go look at his channel. If you like cars, if you like anything that requires working with your hands and getting really dirty, go check out Tavares. <sighs> Some of the cars that he's done, absolutely amazing. And there's some grunting in the background. I think that's the pumpkin. Or is it? Hey, we're making a video. Shh. <laughs> anyway, Tavares. So he had this promo, uh, I think, a week or two ago, and uh, I've been I've been meaning to get this. So not affiliated with him. I do not know him, Freddie Hernandez. Um, if you watch this, very low chance that you will. Really love your channel. Good job. Keep up with the good work. He's going to. He just got a garage um, sometime this year. Got a lot of cars, so keep it up, man. So this is his officially licensed by Hot Wheels Fast and the Furious Lamborghini. And he signed it, too. <laughs> Number 39. That's me. I think this is the first uh, 100, so check that out. That's cool. That's definitely a collector's item. Uh, thank you, Tavares. Again, links in the description. It, good channel, good guy. Great projects, really, really great projects. He's out in Florida. He's a little too far out for me, and um, I don't yet have enough car content, so. So we're gonna, yes. Okay, so. Nondescript black case. This, this, okay, there's no label on it. Yeah, anyway, so this is gonna be a new case uh, for a Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Galaxy, 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 well, either way, it's the Note 10. This is my current setup. This is the outer box. It's a clear case. I've got a what used to be called a bunker ring on it. Um, and then this piece right here is pretty modular. It can go in and under any case. The fact that it's a clear case means you can see it, but it works well with pretty much any any case. It'll go right under, you won't see it. Uh, this is a magnetic, magnetized piece for uh, for the car. So it works really well, hangs on really tightly. Um, this one's for, you know, just me being done, so I don't drop the phone. Works really well too. Um, this one is actually really, really flat, which I like, uh, and it doesn't doesn't turn, so it stays fixed. Like that. Uh, how are you gonna do an unboxing? Hey, have you guys noticed the irony of this? We're unboxing an unbox therapy product. Can't do that without the Damascus. So here it is. Okay, Lou from Lou Later and, and Unbox Therapy. I don't know if you guys have been watching Lou for, for a while. Uh, I have. Interesting guy, for, to say the least. Mr. Canadian. Love his show. I don't think he's got that many unboxing videos like he used to, but it's still a huge, uh, huge channel. So really nice case here. Oh. Wow. Wow. So this case is called the later case. Sorry, I got a squeaky chair. Let me move this. Okay, this is better. No more squeaky chair. So this case is called the later case. There's no, there's no labeling. There's no inscription or badging on it on the outside. So it's a black, black box. Typical Lou Black Box products. I love it. Um, and there's a case right there. Uh, 
attached foam insert. And I think with, yeah, they spent quite a bit on the packaging. That's it, attached foam backing. Doesn't come out, doesn't move. Uh, I don't think there's any instruction manuals. Magnetic closure, yep. Magnetic closure, really Spartan packaging, which I love. And even on the actual case, oh my gosh. I <laughs> so for the uh, Note 10, that last cutout, that's for uh, the S Pen. That's gonna be your speaker, your USB-C connector, mics. I think these are relief cuts, relief cuts, or for the uh, antenna band up top, and then more mics on top, and then your camera, camera bump, and then your flash, and then time of flight sensor, time of flight camera. So it's a really, really basic case. Uh, apparently we've got, <clears throat> got a lot of flack over it for recreating or misappropriating somebody else's design. Look, I, I don't know, company or no company, uh, I don't know if this Blue and, and the team have come up with another product before. I have no clue. Like I said, I just like I like the channel. I like their videos. Uh, I like the personality and persona that he creates. He's a funny guy. He wanted to make a product. He didn't. He couldn't find a case that he loved. All right. And and I would say the reason I bought this was that it, it's a lot closer to the design uh, design aesthetic that I like um, than in light. Right. Oh, of course, also. Also like protection, right? So the otter box is it's pretty rigid on the back, slightly flexible on the sides, super robust on the top, and then uh, more springy on the bottom. That's how you get the case in and out. So I like this as well. Um, yeah, it's a bit much. I usually wear my three piece, so it goes in, in my pockets, like my jacket pockets. This would be my first choice. Uh, of course, barring, you know, dropping it on its face and breaking it, but yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, that's really thin. That is really, really thin. And yeah, check that out. That is really, really, it's like wafer thin. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so needless to say, got a top chin, got a bottom chin uh, versus you know, gigantic protrusion on the top and then gigantic protrusion on the bottom. So this one's really, really minimalistic. Yeah, it looks really good, it looks sexy. But um, I would be worried about dropping this. Uh, grip wise, smooth, really, really smooth. Yeah, smooth, more texture on the, on the loom case. Later case, new later, later case. More texture on this one, but just as smooth. Um, this one's absolutely smooth and flat. But uh, most of the grip for the OtterBox in most cases are gonna be on the sides. That's where you, where you hold the phone. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I mean, it looks slick. Look how clean that looks. Look how clean that looks. All right? It is really slick. Will I use it? Probably not. Um, because remember, we still gotta fit the uh, magnetic backing. So this is the non-magnetized portion. So this one just fits somewhere back here right, on the inside. Um, or I could peel off the adhesive backer and stick it on top of the case, but kind of defeats the purpose of the case. Most likely I'll put it inside, but from the looks of it, I don't think there's any, yeah, there's no room. Because with with the lip of, say, the OtterBox or cases like it, you got a pretty deep recess in there. Maybe two, three, yeah, maybe two, three millimeters. You got a decent recess um, right where the camera pump is. On this guy, you maybe have I don't know, I can't eyeball it half a millimeter. I mean, it covers up the back and you don't get your aura glow color, except, you know, right there between the flashes and the time of flight. I, I like it. 
I don't know if, uh, if I can use it because if this thing drops, which it will, <laughs> I'll probably crack myself. Anyway, I wanted to share that guys uh, with you. I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, he's a popular guy, but uh, have they converted into popular products and w widely adopted, largely accepted? I haven't seen it yet. So um, anyway, if he continues to make this, you know, barring getting sued or, or you know, getting challenged uh, in court and whatnot for purported IP infringement and, and design infringement. Um, yeah, go, go support him. One of my other favorite channels too. I like him a lot. It's a good case. It's not for me. So maybe I'll give this one away. It's not for me, but I like the design of it. I like how thin it is. Let's see how we get this off. Okay, so same way as the OtterBox case, uh, you open up the lower, lower chin, elevate that lip a little bit, try not to crack it. Hopefully the foam comes out. Yeah, really thin, decently strong, very flexible, very flexible. I don't know, guys, this might be, you know, 12 weave carbon fiber. This might actually be real carbon. I've worked with a lot of carbon, raw carbon, um, in strand form, woven form, mat form, uh, and then unpacked fibers. This might be the real deal. This might, yeah, this might be it. Clean edges, really, really clean edges. Uh, finishing is excellent. I'll give you another example of that. So the deck on the Dell XPS, that is also carbon fiber, but they've got a resin or a finishing coating on there. That, sorry, I was looking at a dust speck. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that gives it a slight rubbery texture and it's only very slight. So same, same idea, um, it's less rubbery on the case, but yeah. I'm getting similar vibes. Comes with a cleaning cloth. Single layer, no design. Yeah, that's it. Single layer, no design. Um, in case I give this away, I, I don't want to open it. But yeah, beautiful case. So good job, Lou and the team. Um, yeah, I hope people buy it. If you like it, buy it. It's not for me. Maybe you'll like it. The carbon fiber look is really cool. Uh, I want to showcase the Aura Glow. I like the color. That's why I got it. I need to clean it. But otherwise, yeah, nicely done. Hope you guys liked it. Um, I guess finishing note on 2020. So sorry I've been out of commission. Um, it's not that I haven't been making videos. I've got 12 terabytes of, of videos recorded and um, archived and organized, hopefully, to backfill some of those videos. When I say some, I mean basically all of them. So uh, 2019 was a really, really crazy year in a very good way. Back to making videos. So hopefully more cool stuff for you guys. Hey, you know what? Let's throw a preview at the very end. Here it comes. <laughs>